With the NetAlly CyberScope, targeted and map tests may be included when running an auto test. This provides a means of running one or more NMAP tests each time auto test is run on the connected network to verify provisioning and segmentation. This video will focus on adding an NMAP test to auto test. For more information on configuring, running, and reviewing auto tests, please check out the videos on both wired and wireless auto tests. NMAP tests may be added to both wired and wireless auto tests. In this example, I'm going to create a wired auto test to be run on my office network. The auto test will do the following. Establish a wired connection. Listen for tagged VLANs. Attempt to determine the switch and port to which the CyberScope is connected. Get an IP address. Test DNS. Ping the default router. Scan the default router using the top 100 ports and map test and run an NMAP test to determine if Telnet is open on the router. I'll start by tapping on the Action button in the lower left corner of the screen to add a new wired profile. Then I'll tap on Name to give it a descriptive name. In this case, I'll call it OfficeNet and tap OK. For this example, I'm going to leave most of the settings at their default values and I'll scroll down to Test Targets. This will display a list of test targets that I've configured. To add an NMAP test, I'll tap on the Action button and select Add NMAP Test. The first test I'm going to add will scan the default router looking to see if any of the top 100 most popular ports are open. I'll give it a name of Top 100 and tap OK. Then I'll select NMAP Test. This list contains all the enabled NMAP tests in the NMAP app. For more information about creating NMAP tests, please check out our video on the NMAP app. I'll scroll down and find the Top 100 Ports test and tap on it. Then I'll tap OK. The last step is setting up the test to a specific target. If I'm running a script that sends out broadcasts, I would disable the target setting. In this case, I'd like to run the test against my default router on this network, so I'll enter an IP address of 10.0.0.1. Then I'll tap OK and the back arrow. If the CyberScope has been claimed to link live, the results of this scan will be uploaded to test results. This provides documentation of which of the top 100 ports were open on the router at the time this test was run. This is great, but I also want to flag this test with a warning if Telnet is open on the router. The top 100 port scan may indicate the port is open, but it won't flag it as a warning. To accomplish this, I'll add another test target. Just like before, I'll tap the Action button and select Add NMAP Test. I'll give it a name of Telnet, and then I'll tap on NMAP Test. Prior to setting up this auto test, I use the NMAP app to create an NMAP test that will check to see if TCP port 23 is open. If the port is open, it'll flag it as a warning. A step-by-step -step review of how to create NMAP tests is covered in the NMAP app video. I'll select the Telnet test from the list of enabled NMAP tests and tap OK. As with the top 100 ports test, I'll enter the default router in the target field and I'll tap OK and then the back arrow. Now that my Telnet test has been configured, I'll tap the back arrow to go back to test targets. An unlimited number of test targets may be added to the auto test. For this example, I'll stick with these two and run the test. I'll tap back and then back again. With the wired network port on the top of the CyberScope connected to the office network, I'll tap Start. We can see the results as the test was run. Once the test completes, the test summary card at the top of the screen shows that we have one warning. All the cards on the screen are green. So let's scroll down and see if we can find the warning. Here we can see the Telnet test target returned a warning. Tapping on the card shows that Telnet is open on the router. If we go back, we can see that the top 100 test did not show a warning. This is because the test only scans the ports but doesn't grade the results. By using two NMAP tests, we can document the open ports as well as create a warning if Telnet is open. Since my CyberScope is claimed to link live, 
the results have been uploaded at the conclusion of the test. Let's take a look at what was uploaded. Here is the top 100 test results. If I tap on the arrows at the bottom of the test, it will display the Nmap results, and I can see which ports are open. If I do the same thing with the Telnet test, I can see that port 23 is open. Adding Nmap tests to the auto test provides a means to not only validate connectivity, but to run tests to document open ports, identify vulnerabilities, and misconfigured devices.